how I got him home. I have come for a second time to plead with you to allow me to help you to escape. Believe me, to stay here means death. If not from typhus, then certainly from what is going to happen here. Believe me, I know. Please don't think that I don't appreciate your efforts and the risk you've taken on my behalf. Or that I don't know that you are marked to die here. The threat of diseases grows daily, and even the doctors have difficulties getting the special permits to enter the ghetto. The Nazis have closed our businesses and our schools, and we're subjected to random persecution by the German army which roams the city, killing us for no reason at all. And the news from the death camps is of the countless deaths of the camp inmates. By now, everyone knows that one does not go to camp to work. One goes there to die. Then take this chance. Escape while you can. All the young German Baha'is who were conscripted into the army died in the first week of the war, including my brother. We had written to the Guardian to ask what to do. And he replied that if we were sincere in our desire not to take life, God would assist us. I was the only one who survived. I could never understand why. Was I not sincere enough? But now, but now I believe that I was spared for this special task to get you out of here. I can understand why you said no to your Polish student who offered to hide you. Too great a risk for him and his family. Immediate execution for them if you were caught. But I, I am a German army ambulance driver. I was able to keep my mother from being sent to concentration camp. I have connections. It is possible. My answer is still the same. I must stay with my people. They are my people, even though my family were not observant Jews. But you are Baha'i, not Jewish. All the more reason why I must not abandon them. This is your final answer. God signed you. And for them to want it, they must understand. 
that which is to be saved, the future of the world. Mothers, dear mothers, show your children your charges. Show them that glories exist more noble than the bloody crowns of Caesars and Napoleons. Tell them that concord builds and that discord destroys. Teach 